Today we're going to learn my tips and tricks on how to brush kids hair. Or any hair for that matter. We won't prejudice against just children's hair. The kids, they're the hardest to work on. It's kind of like herding a squirrel trying to get this done, isn't it? I've used these same tips to avoid my daughter absolutely hating her hair getting brushed. We've tried all the techniques to get our daughter's hair brushed. Okay, we get it. It's time to brush your hair. Ah. We've tried the sneak attack. Ah. We've tried the asleep technique. We tried the running hair comb. <laughs> running echo. Running echo. But nothing worked. With some trial and error, we found what did work. The first tip I'm going to talk about is the 10 finger discount. A lot of people will go and tell you to buy a wide tooth comb in order to handle things. Forget that. I don't see any reason why you need to do that when you have these little things on hand. Dad joke. This step is pretty simple. All you have to do is, well, you have to get the hair first. What you want to do is separate them and just slowly work them through and pulling out any any little bits of knots that you can feel. So one other thing you could do is use a detangler spray or conditioner. Usually you don't have a whole bunch of time in the morning to run around and try and spray the conditioner on and let it sit for a while. I think it does help. We don't use it, we're running around doing a whole bunch of things ourselves in the morning. Once you've finished going through your hair with your fingers and getting out the appropriate amount of knots, the next step is to move on to the brush stage. So we like to use a detangler brush. This, these brushes are awesome. They are the best thing in the world, absolutely. You don't really have to end up using fingers if you don't want to. If you're in a rush, you just pack this thing out. Uh, this one has a curve to it and they're super soft bristles so they don't, uh, they don't tear the hair or hurt at all, right? No. Ultimately, the first step is to start at the bottom of the hair. You don't want to start at the top of the hair because that will just push any knots that are at the top of the hair down and group them all at the bottom. You don't want that. You start at the bottom and work your way through. Now, a lot of people, what they will do is with any brush, whatever it is, they'll just brush from the bottom and brush down. They'll maybe try and hold the hair and, and sort of pull down this way. I find that even holding the hair, you're gonna end up with some kinks. So my technique is actually to grab the hair, keep the brush in the same spot, and pull the hair through the brush. Rather than the brush going down, you're gonna keep the hair and pull the hair through. Brush in the same spot, hair goes through, hair goes through. This way, there are, there's absolutely no force going on um, of the, the hair on the scalp. It's just all going through the brush. I don't have a scalp anymore. The scalp right here, that's a scalp. Let's talk about wet hair. Ideally, if you can condition the hair uh, during the shower and actually comb the hair when the conditioner's been in for a long time, that's a great way to get uh, the, the beginning parts of the tangles out, but we don't always get that opportunity to do so. The next step to avoiding tangles really after the shower is the drying technique. You don't want to do the man way of drying and that just kind of like moving your head around and just drying as wildly and crazy as possible. You don't want to do that with long hair. You actually just want to dab. We're just going to wrap the hair around and like squeeze the, the, the water out as much as possible. Squeeze it out. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, thank you. And you just want to do that around the whole head. Pretty simple, but that way, you know, you're not rubbing and making more knots. Hair is at its weakest when it's wet. You're weak, you hear me? You're weak. One thing that we have is this little like, headband towel thing. I have no idea what it's actually called. It's very, very neat. Hook it over, has this little button here at the top, and you just make sure all the hairs inside the tail, and you kinda turn it around like so. Loop this up like this, and you hook it around the button. Hair stays up, and it can stay like this for a while, and looking Pretty cool too. Then I get a show. <laughs> then we get a show. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, just give us a quick little thumbs up and like down below. The more likes, the more people will see this video. I think. That's assuming that someone's watching it to this point. Anyways, have a good one.